so hey guys welcome back to our next lecture on the trace of matrices so in our previous lecture we have discussed so what is the relationship between the cofactor the minor the adjugate and the inverse so and we also discussed the rank of matrices right so today we are going to discuss something known as the trace of the matrices so what do you mean by the trace is the, it, there is nothing like so we just simply add the principal diagonal so the definition is like the sum of all elements in the main diagonal of the matrices we the sum of the sum of all elements in the principal diagonal we the sum of all elements in the principal diagonal so for example so for example for example i have taken a matrices like a11 a12 and etc we simply we simply take the we we simply take the diagonal we simply take the diagonal and we we simply take the diagonal and we and we simply add these three and we'll get we have a sum summation or rule here i hope you know this summation rule and there is no need to tell once again like so if we if you don't know just just search online so what is the summation rule and how we how it can be helpful like etc you going to get a good example like i'm not going to explain in this lecture so we just we just simply add these three we just simply add these three and we going to get and we going to get something output something the scalar or etc anything we just going to get our output we going to get our output this is our trace of the matrices so i will give you a practical example like i will give you a practical example so if we have a a matrices over there and we have a 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 9 and we have a 3 over there so i just take randomly okay so we find the we find the diagonal over here so we find the diagonal over here and we simply we simply take it out we simply take it out and we simply add these we simply add the the elements in the diagonal so we just simply add all the elements in the diagonal and we get our output we get our output then this then this is called as a trace of matrices a then this is called as a trace of matrices a so i hope you understand it like so so i hope you understand it like how we find the trace of the matrices so we just simply take it out the principal diagonal and then we simply add the add add all the elements in the diagonal and we we sum it all up we will get our output so in a trace of matrices we have some kind of properties out there so we have a so if the trace of a and we have a trace of b like so the trace of a matrices and b matrices it is equal to trace of a plus trace of b i hope you're getting like so we have a trace of so we have a trace of a and we have a trace of b so we have a trace of combine a plus b so we have a trace of combine a plus b then it divides like we we don't have any problem like so we don't have any problem like here so it's a it's a kind of it's a distributive property right so we have discussed in our vector lectures like it's a distributive property so we have a like a this kind of example so we have a this kind of example right so it just simply apply this so he in the in the a we have a trace over there so it's just a simply kind of that we have a distributive property out there and we have a so we don't we 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 cannot equal the multiplication so like the associative property is not here so the associate the associative property is not work here so why because like we have a trace a into a into b we have a a matrices and b b matrices where we simply multiply in in the trace in the trace so so we cannot we cannot have a so for example these two like we have a trace of a into b is equal to 15 then it will change like bro like so like the trace of a become 9 and the trace of then the trace of b become 7 and and we, if we if the, with the formula we if we go with the formula then we have to make 9 into 7 then it will become like and it will become like 63 it will become like 63 but our answer is 15 our answer is 15 i hope you are understanding like I hope you are understanding like the trace of a into b matrices is not equal to the trace of a and the trace of b are you getting it yes so after that after that we have a trace of c into a so what in what is c c means a constant or a scalar 
a constant or a scalar and a is a matrices right so a is a matrices and a c is a constant or scalar so we just so if we have a trace of c into a so for example then so we just simply take it out of the constant or a scalar we simply take it out and we well and then we simply calculate like so for example if a trace of c is equal to 10 and we if we take it out the c also if we take it out the c also the answer is the answer is same like trace of a is equal to 10 if the c is equal to 2 and the 2 into 20 2 into 10 is equal to 20 that's it that's it it's all equal so it is equal to c of tran trace into a so the trace into a is equal to the trace into transpose so why so so you may get a doubt like so we are applying the transpose but 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 you are saying like it is equal right so you are saying like you can you can take transpose but you are saying like it is equal so i will give an example right so so i just said in our transpose lectures like it just transpose it's it's diagonal so these will come here and these this part will become here so the diagonal remains constant bro so the diagonal remains constant so we simply take that we, we can simply take this we can simply take this so after that we have a trace trace of a transpose b so we, the transpose didn't apply to the diagonal just we simply ignore that as of now like so we ca we can simply ignore that because the transpose didn't apply to the main diagonal right so the trace of a transpose b is equal to the trace of a b transpose and the trace of b transpose a and the trace of b a transpose these are these all are equal bro these all are equal so we have something known as the cyclic property of a trace so what do you mean by a cyclic property of a trace right so we have a we have a four matrices we have a four matrices a a, a b c d we have a four matrices right so I, I i'm just zooming like we have a four matrices or there we are finding the trace of both these so we are finding the trace of these two these so it is so this is equal to trace of b c d a it is equal to the trace of c d a b and this is equal to the trace of d a b c so all are equal bro so all are equal so all are equal so just just type of just so just research about this the cyclic property of the trace you you going to get a good examples out there so so in a in a 10 minutes of lecture i can't cover all of those so so you can you can you can explore it more in in the google like just type the cyclic property of trace and you're going to get a lot of example and with a lot better explanation okay so we so this is a arbitrary permutation are not allowed and just research about that and then and then we're going to cover something known as hard mart product so you may ask like what is hard mart product so it is it is very helpful and useful in the quantum computing so it is useful in quantum computing machine learning and as well as a deep learning as well so like so for example so for example we have a so i can give you better example like so this is a practical example I, i'm going to give a, a example like so we have a matrices like a1 a2 a3 and a4 and we going we we are having b matrices like b1 b2 b3 and b4 okay and then we so so what is the main aim of these like it is similar to the dot product we, we simply have a this big a small circle rather than a dot over here so it is just similarly like this so like we a into 1 and to b into 1 and then a in a2 b2 so a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 and a4 b4 a4 b4 so we just simply add that and whatever it may be this is a this is the hard mode product this is a hard mode product of that of that matrices i hope you understand like so this is the hard mode this is the hard mode product of that matrices i hope you understand like so So I will give you a, for, uh, a formal formal example like so we have a so this this small circle is called as a hard mode product 
this small circle is called as a hard mode product okay so we have a we have a a matrices over here so we have a a matrices over here and we have a b matrices over here we have a b matrices over here so we simply use the hard mode product here so it's just similar to the dart product as we as we discussed in our previous lecture so we just simply we just simply multiply the element wise we just simply multiply the element wise and we're going to get 1 into 2 2 into 3 3 into 4 and 4 into 5 so we just simply we just simply getting so just similar to it's just similar to the dot product okay just similar to the dot product and we going to multiply that and we going to get we going to get 2 into 2 matrices right this is our output this is our output okay this is the this is the hard hard mat product it's just similar to it it is more likely as a dot product only okay so we have a uh, some properties over here we so we have some properties over here to discuss okay so a hard mat b is equal to b hard mat a so like we have a we have this like we have a associative property like this so we have a associative property here like in in that product we have a this and we see in a hard hard mat product we have a a hard mat b is equal to b hard mat a that's it bro there is nothing any there is nothing special about here so this is also a distributive property also applies here so sorry so associative property also associative property also applies here like a hard mod b like b into c and then we have we can take it of this and we have a, we can make a parenthesis over here it is equal to it is equal to a hard mod b hard mod c we have a associative property here so and we also we here we all it can also apply the distributive property okay so we a hard mod b is equal to b plus c then that is equal to a hard mod b plus a hard mod c i hope you understanding like it's just simple kind of thing like we all we we discussed all these properties in our previous lectures so if you watch these all these lectures in a in a such a way to you you are in a right track and you're going to understand you're going to understand better better than better than other better than other students okay so if the if the a hard mod zero a hard mod zero then it is equal to zero so like like we have a a a into zero that is equal to zero bro. anything multiplies with zero is it zero right So after after finishing the hard mod product, we have a something known as Ronecker product. So I'm so sorry for the pronunciation. So it's a Ronecker Ronecker product. Okay. So it just multiplies the entire matrices with one element in this another matrices. So so if you see these diagrams, if you see these diagram, it's kind of it's kind of scary, right? So it's it's kind of scary, but but I will explain it in a clear way. So we just so we just denote this symbol, this cross symbol, this cross symbol as a this cross symbol as a Ronecker product. Okay, this cross symbol as a Ronecker product. So so we have a we have a A matrices over here. We have a A matrices over here, and we have a B matrices over here. We have a B matrices over here. So 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 what what so what we apply he, here in a no record product so the a the first element of the matrix a multiplies with the whole with the whole of the matrix b are you understand what i'm saying the whole of the matrix a and b b with the whole of the matrix b and the c the whole of the matrix b and d with the whole of these matrices i hope you're getting like so the a a into whole whole matrices b and b into the whole matrices and c into c and d into the whole matrices so we just simply it's just a kind of scalar matrix product so you can look you can look in our previous lectures how we do that scalar matrix product so you can have a good idea out there so we just simply it we just we just simply calculate these we just simply calculate these and we we going to get our output as a 4 into 4 matrices we're going to get a matrix output as a 4 into 4 matrices 
so the 2 into 2 so the 2 into 2 matrices the 2 into 2 matrices become become 4 into 4 matrices like the 2 into 2 matrices will become the 4 into 4 matrices in the non-acre product i hope you understand so i will give you a practical example so that you can clearly understand like so the practical example like we have a we have a a over here bro we have a a we have a a matrices and we have a b matrices okay we have a a matrices and we have a b matrices so if we apply the non-acre product here so the one is multiplied with the whole matrices the two is multiplied with the whole matrices the three is multiplied with the whole matrices and the four is also multiplied with the whole matrices right so we just i applied here i applied the same here so the one and the two and the three and the four Th these both are applied th these both are multiplied with the with the whole whole matrices and then we simply have a scalar matrix product they we simply have a scalar matrix product and we're going to get we're going to get zero here we're going to get zero five six and seven we're going to we we get here so we get here so after that we have a two ten twelve and fourteen we get here so and we have a zero fifteen eighteen and twenty one so we get here and then we're going to get zero twenty four six the twenty four and four seven the twenty eight so we're going to get here i hope you understand like there is nothing else we simply we simply doing the we simply doing the scalar and the matrix multiplication okay so we go the resulting the resulting matrices is 4 into 4 as i said in a in a in this example right in this example so i hope you getting it like so the non-recur product means like the it multiplies the so the non-recur product means it multiplies the it multiplies one element with the another matrices so it 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 multiplies the one element with the another matrices right i hope you understand so after that after that we going to cover some of the properties over here so the all applies from the hardmer product so we have a we have these properties right so we have we have a, these properties so all applies here so all applies in the in the non acre product also but but we have a hardmer product here so in a in hardmer product we have a hard hardmer product here and we going to have a trace of a into trace of b how are you getting like so the only applies in a in a non acre product i'm so sorry i'm so sorry like we going to have we have a we have a non acre product here and we have a trace of a into trace of b so this is a, this only applies in a non acre product not not in a hardmer product I hope you understand this. I hope you understand it. So I'm going to recover, recapitulate what we have. What we have in this lecture, we have a trace of matrices. Like how we going to find the trace of matrices, and we given a practical example over here. And then we have we have discussed some of the properties. We have discussed some of the properties and the cyclic property, etc. And then we have a hardmer product, and we discussed the hardmer product here. So how these are useful in machine learning and deep learning so we so you may get you will get an, a brief idea when we discussed about the machine learning and the projects so if we said also you can't understand like so what so if i said like example in a linear regression logistic regression claim means clustering so you don't have any idea about these all these so you can't understand so so i know bro so way to teach like so i will teach there so you will have a some more matter over there so it's it's a better thing to 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 have a lecture over there not here so after that we going to so after that we have covered the non ronicker product and we have discussed some of the properties here so so in our next lecture we going to cover the system of linear equations so we going to cover the system of linear equations so we going to cover the all these and we have a practical exam so that we have a so after that we we going to cover the decomposition of matrices so what is decomposition of matrices and after that so after that so after that we going to cover the gaussian mixtures so after that we going to cover the gaussian mixtures like so what these relates etc in in the machine learning etc so like we are getting close to the machine learning you know you know for the lectures like how these are like how these how what do you mean by clustering etc you going to get in a brief lectures in our further lectures so and we have a tensors over there so so this is going to be the next lectures so until then 
So until then, bye bye. See you. See you in the next lecture. Okay.